stop it, stop it, stop everything. God just spoke to me this morning. You see, I spent all day yesterday trying to choose someone for this week's Saint Day Cute. And I couldn't find anyone better than Lou Engel. So I started putting together the video, but didn't feel very inspired. And I got up this morning, and God delivered onto me the perfect nitwit. I mean, the perfect victim. Uh, sorry, I mean the perfect subject. It must have been God since it happens on a Sunday morning, you know, the Lord's Day. Anyway, take a look at Linda Harvey at a time when she must have been an agnostic because she says she was an agnostic at one time. Then she was saved. And look at what happened to her. See, look at the picture now. Anyway, she is this week's topic. And although I do not have any footage to go with this video, Linda Harvey has plenty to say for herself. How do you feel about open homosexuals tending to your child in a healthcare setting? Do you think these folks provide good role modeling at a time when your child is very vulnerable? I was thinking about this recently when I heard that Children's Hospital in Columbus has a homosexual employees group called In Charge, which stands for Nationwide Children's Hospitals Advocates Representing Gay Employees. The meeting minutes of this group reveal that they participated in last June's Gay Pride Parade, that they participated in a health expo on adolescent health this summer, and that they are concerned about same-sex partner benefits. They're also planning to be identified with rainbow lapel pins. Well, let's say your 11-year-old has broken her leg rather badly and needs to be in the hospital for a few days. Which would you prefer, a nurse who's proud of her lesbianism, who has rainbow identifiers on her work clothing, or a nurse who does not? I would like to suggest that parents think long and hard about this. If you want your children to admire people who proclaim a homosexual lifestyle, their involvement with your child during a hospital stay is sure to be an influence, but they are tacking on to their workplace identity, one that is highly offensive to many people and can be erroneously influential to children who won't or shouldn't see the whole picture of how this behavior really manifests itself. Here's what parents can do. Select your pediatrician very carefully, first of all. There are a few homosexual doctors treating kids. There are far more nurses, LPNs, technicians, and other healthcare workers in these lifestyles. So you may want to consider writing a letter that you file with your pediatrician that should your child ever be hospitalized, you do not want your child to be treated or cared for by one of these members. Your values should be respected. So what could we do to make a serious dent in the HIV and syphilis disease track? One obvious approach is to stop promoting homosexual behavior to kids and falsely calling it an identity like race. We could also close down homosexual bars and bathhouses. That would be a start. God never ah, Stop that talking! Stop America. it! Stop it! This has been an obnoxious cat production. I love that cat.